YouTube Shugun Shinobi here with a review of the Digimon Fusion Digi Action figure. It's not action figure, but Digi Action figure. Uh, but they are action figures, so who cares? Uh, anyway, these are basically the Digimon equivalent of the uh, Power Ranger like slashing figures, where you like squeeze their legs and they slash, or you have that little thumb thing, or whatever that they keep doing for all these different lines. It's basically the Digimon version of that. Uh, first and foremost, we have Shoutmon times four, or sh sh Shortmon, yep, he is kind of short. Uh, Shoutmon cross four for you Cross Wars fans, and then Metal Greymon. Uh, so pretty neat. Unfortunately, they retail for fourteen ninety nine, which I found a little bit absurd uh, for, for what you get in size and function. But, um, regardless of the price, are they good figures? Let's find out and, uh, take a look. Alright, so here we go. First and foremost, these do stand roughly five inches tall. Uh, give or take, Metal Greymon's a little bit squatter, because he used most of his plastic budget on his giant backpack of death. But, um, give or take, they're about a five-inch scale figure. Now, of course, each one comes with a Digifusion card or whatever you want to call these, for the fusion loader. So we'll go ahead and slide those in. Would probably help if this thing was on. It's generally how it works. Times four. So we go straight to the Shoutmon times four. And obviously it's not capable of any further fusion because it's already a finished fusion. Metal Greymon, we've seen his card before, so it's not going to be anything new. Metal Greymon! There we go. Pretty cool artwork on Metal Greymon, though. It's pretty much a animation-style artwork on him. And uh, Shotmon Times 4 is pretty cool, too. Still keep wanting to say Cross 4, because Cross Wars was cool. Uh, and I haven't really seen much of Fusion, honestly, but <laughs> I have seen all of Cross Wars. So, um, here we go with, uh, with Shoutmon Cross 4 times 4, whoever you want to call him. So this is his action feature. Fun times, right? Um, unfortunately, the arm don't move at all. Arm don't move, that was ergonomics right there. Um, so you're stuck in this slightly downward slash position. This arm, however, is on a series of swivels, so this arm can be as forefront as this, or as far back as that, have a nice in-between, whatever you want to do, this arm does move. However, it's not on a rotation, it is just on the swivel, so it can only do this. The legs uh, don't really seem to do a whole lot, in fact, I can't even really get him to move, it feels like I'm going to rip his legs off, so I'm not going to force it. But, um, yeah, so that's really it for this guy is that. Um, I can't really show it on camera all too well, but uh, his hand does light up. Let me turn my lights off and see if we can get this going a little bit. There we go. So in the dark, it actually does light up the, the sword fairly well and makes his hand glow. So that's a thing. He's at least got lights. That's kind of neat, I guess. So that about does it for... Shoutmon times four. So moving along to Metal Greymon, he's kind of neat. Uh, he's got some cool things going for him. Um, Articulation-wise, you can move his arms, and that's about it. His legs move for the gimmick, um, and his tail does swivel, too. It's got male Bergeron's head just sticking out there being creepy. Um, so basically, as he goes down, he opens his mouth. So you can see there, he starts opening his mouth. And if you go further, he fires the missiles on here. I don't know if I can get the backpack off now. There we go. So as it goes forward, it'll hit that tab and push this forward and fire the missiles uh, on here off. So squeeze that back in. I'm going to blast my wall here. Bam. Pretty cool. Um, I could see kids getting a kick out of this since I get a kick out of it and I am a big kid. So... Pretty cool overall, uh, not too much else going for him either, but uh, the missile fire gimmick's kind of cool. Uh, that being said, these are kind of cool, actually. They're no substitute for articulated figures. I much would have rather seen a Digi Warriors esque approach um, to, to these guys instead of an action feature approach. 
But uh, given how the Digi Warriors were Japanese import toys, um, and there was nothing like that for Cross Wars in Japan, they just had the moderate to crappy um, cross figures and some vinyl toys. Uh, there, there really wasn't a whole mo a lot to do in terms of importing the toys, so they were kind of left in the dust there. Um, so like I said, they're, they're no substitute for an articulated figure, but, uh, for all purposes, they look pretty nice on display. Uh, together, they are missing some paint, uh, noticeably the little, uh, circle right here on Metal Greymon is missing, and then some detail on the male Bergemon head that makes up his tail and on uh shoutmon here you got the eyes for uh ballistamon and darulumon over here that aren't uh colored in at all so as you can see here they're colored in and uh the tail is actually colored in so for the most part they're painted pretty decently just some minor paint details missing and uh, obviously a couple things here that might spruce up the figure a bit. So if you're looking for a display piece, these are actually pretty cool. The action features are fun too, admittedly. Um, for $14.99, however, I can't fully recommend them for $14.99. That just seems too high to me. Um, given that the, the Ranger ones, I think, were a little bit cheaper than $14.99. Uh, and they do just as, if not more, than some of these. Though this one does have lights, so I'll give him that. He has lights. So he might be worth it. Um, but given how short Metal Greymon is, um, he's probably not really worth the $14.99. But uh, Shoutmon, given the fact that he has a light, is a little bit more arguable for the $14.99 price tag. But if you're willing to pay it, I don't think you'll be disappointed in these. They are kind of neat for what they are. Um, but uh, I'd kind of wait for a sale of some sort. I picked these up at Target. Uh, it's currently the only place to find Digimon Fusion figures is Target. So, um, if you're interested in these, check out your local targets. $14.99 a piece. Not bad for what they are, but just not fully worth the price tag. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.